ceremony now begin. Please remain standing for the singing of the national anthem by select members of the state. Please be seated. And thank you for the wonderful voices from Gladsburg State and Gina. Thank you so very much for opening our ceremony today. Good evening. And I am the proud president of Clinton Community College. And tonight we celebrate, you ready? The 50th graduating class in the history of Clinton Community College. Maybe a little different. We've got cars lined up. We've got people all kind of looking. But at the end of the day, it's still the same. <coughs> and the same is we're celebrating our students graduating tonight. <coughs> and most importantly, that's why we're here and that's why we decided to have a commencement that would celebrate our students, their parents, and all that they've been through the faculty and the staff. And this evening, it is truly my honor and my privilege to welcome you to the 2021 Clinton Community College commencement exercise. So listen carefully. Congratulations to the class of 2019-20 who didn't get to be on stage last year. Congratulations. and to this year's graduating class 2021 and think about this just for a second graduates and everyone here what everyone has gone through to reach this day in a pandemic what our faculty our staff the way they had to help our students get to this point and to our students who are sitting there waiting to come across the stage most importantly we congratulate you for the tremendous efforts that you, your parents, the sacrifices that all of you have made to complete something that is extraordinary, and that is a Clinton Community College Diploma or Certificate. Congratulations to our classes. I am pleased this evening to introduce the platform party on stage and our special guests in attendance. As your name is called, please kindly stand. Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. John Quell. 
our faculty marshal, Professor Gina Lindsay, <laughs> chairperson of the Clinton Community College Board of Trustees, David Favreau, <laughs> our fourth honorary degree recipient in the history of our college, Michael Carpenter. The 2020 and the 2021 Chancellor Award winners of our college, Joanna Jackson, <laughs> Denise Coughlin, <laughs> Megan Morrissey Kelly, <laughs> Maggie Corson, <laughs> Kelly Meisner. And an outstanding young lady who has served the student body so well as our student trustee, Serena Jalbert. <laughs> Seated under our tent this evening, Mayor Christopher Rosenquist. <laughs> Chris, thank you for being here, and thank you for being a Clinton Community College graduate. <laughs> Members of the Clinton County Legislature that are with us this evening, Francis Perrier. And videotaping, as he's done for every year that I have been here, Calvin Castine, and thank you, Calvin, for being here to do that. <laughs> Members of the College Board of Trustees, Trustee Debbie Momont, <laughs> Trustee Nina Coolidge, <laughs> Trustee Patricia Garrell, Trustee Bernie Bassett. <laughs> Trustee Elizabeth Vicenzio. <laughs> and we're very proud to have the special guests this evening, members of the Carpenter family. Please stand for a round of applause. <laughs> and Trustee Mark Letta. <laughs> Approximately 345 graduates are eligible to receive their degrees today from 2019-2020 and 2020-21. Classes with 94 students graduating summa cum laude, magna cum laude, and cum laude have earned a quality point average of 3.25 to 4.0. Graduates wearing gold tassels or gold stoles are members of the Phi Theta Kappa, the International Honor Society that encourages leadership, scholarship, fellowship, and service. Graduates wearing gold cords and honors medallions are honors program graduates. A number of our graduates tonight are actively serving in the reserves. And I please ask all of us to please join me in congratulating them for the tremendous service that they give to our country. They're serving in the National Guard of Veterans of the United States. As we celebrate our 50th graduation, which first started, and think about it, back in 1971, today you look at this amazing historic building from the 1800s as it transforms and we preserve it for another 100 to 200 years. The investment that the county, the state, and this community has made to this campus, the new Advanced Manufacturing Center, our new facility, 28 million investment in this amazing campus that serves the North Country so very well. And it is truly a privilege to serve as the president. So as we sit here celebrating 50 graduating classes tonight, let me share with you just one simple quote from Mark Twain that really has always touched my heart. And I quote, 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did. So throw off the bowlines, sail away from the safe harbor. Catch the trade winds in your sails. Explore, dream, discover. And our young graduates, older graduates, and all of us here, think about those three key words. Explore, dream, 
discover. Clinton Community College has changed your lives forever and has helped you achieve your dreams. On behalf of all of us here this evening, our faculty, our staff, our guests, congratulations to the class of 1920-2021. At this time, I would like our faculty and staff to please stand. They are the ones that have prepared our students to get where they are today. Please stand for a great round of applause from all of us to you. Thank you in this extraordinary time for all that you have done for this college. At this time, I also want to congratulate the class valedictorian who will graduate with a 4.0 grade point average with a degree in computer information systems. Congratulations to Jillian Kazar. We wish you well in your future endeavors with a straight 4.0. Our 2021 salutatorian is Travis Collins, who graduated in December with a 3.94 GPA in wind energy technology. <laughs> Congratulations to Travis. <laughs> and a very special thank you this evening to Wiry Radio for broadcasting live our event along with our graduation sponsors. AES, Northeast, LH LaPlante, and Atlantic Testing Laboratories. Thank you to each and every one of you for your support. And thank you to the class of 20 and the class of 21 for your patience. Even though this isn't a typical ceremony, we are here for one reason today, to celebrate your success. Congratulations again to all of our graduates. It's now my privilege to bring greetings from the Board of Trustees from our Board Chair. David Favreau has been the longest serving chair in our county. He is also the chair of this board. He is also a proud alum of this college. There has been no finer person that I have met in my entire life than David. Good friend, good colleague, and most importantly, a person who deeply cares about this college and has made a difference each and every day along with our board. This is an outstanding board of trustees. They continue to do all the right things for our college. I cannot thank them enough for the service that they provide voluntarily. So on behalf of all of us, let's thank David with a great round of applause as he brings you greetings on behalf of the board of trustees. <laughs> Chairman of the board, David Favreau. What a wonderful introduction, but I just learned something. Ray doesn't know an awful lot of people. <laughs> Thank you for attending, and as I look, and I look at the challenges that we're facing with the wind, with the unusual conditions, getting everything to happen, everything to pull together, it's just one more memorable moment for this special event for the people that received their diplomas today. It was 40 years ago that I graduated from Clinton Community College, 1981. Seems like it was yesterday, and to all the graduates, I can assure you, you'll say the same thing in 40 years. The time goes by very fast. I don't want to dwell too much on that right now. I really want to thank my colleagues on the Board of Trustees for all of their hard work and their commitment. It has been a challenging last couple of years on many fronts. COVID has been difficult for all of us. There's been a lot of other issues that we've dealt with, but we've done it together, and the Board of Trustees has pulled together for one reason. Usually it's nights like tonight. We cherish the opportunity to see our graduates walk across the stage with the big smiles, young and old alike, that hold their diplomas up and say those three wonderful words as they look proudly at their family. I did it! <laughs> it's a great opportunity. But we would all on the board be remiss if we didn't take this special moment to truly thank, with a heartfelt thank you, our faculty and staff 
for you as well. We know the efforts you've been through trying to do distance learning, trying to do in-person learning. How do we do labs? How do we survive COVID testing to get the students back up here on campus? All of the obstacles you have faced for that, a heartfelt thank you from all of us. We truly do appreciate it. Our honorary diploma that will be given out later to Michael Carpenter and to his family that are here. Welcome. Welcome to Clinton Community College. Again, we had a wonderful event last night. We're kind of showing off the new facade of our building. We're hoping that we would have it, this piece of it uh, completed. But for those of you that this is the first time you've been up here in a while, the old girl looks a lot different. <laughs> and she's looking a lot better. Inside is gonna be gorgeous. I can't wait till we can have a community event to welcome everybody inside. But the work and the effort by my colleagues on the board and also the patience and tolerance of the faculty and staff and most importantly, and if they can hear us out there, I wanna hear maybe a couple horns. Most importantly, our students that have endured this effort. They've had to go through different entrances. Which door do we go in for class? Which door do we come out of for class? Uh, it's a challenge. It's a very difficult challenge. The, the, the dust, the obstacles, but still focusing on their studies and keeping that focus through the faculty and the staff. It's been a tough couple of years. We're getting it now. It must be a delayed reaction. <laughs> it's okay. You can lay on them if you want. This is a celebration. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's it. This is your night. The memories. Good for you. Good for you. All right. I love it. Love getting a crowd going, especially on a wonderful occasion like this. I don't want to take too much time because, as our president said, tonight is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be having families come up through and processing through with their cars, graduates getting out, coming up on stage. Again, it's another learning opportunity here at Clinton Community College. Don't ever forget, we go right to the end to make sure you get every bit of opportunity to learn, and tonight you're gonna get one again. In addition to that, though, this is not the end of your education. This is the beginning of your education. As I learned last night, you can always teach people. You can always share what you have with people, and you, will and can make a big difference in your community and in your world. So take what we taught you here at Clinton with what you have and what your personal skills give you. Share that with other people in our wonderful community and throughout the world. And please, for all of us, make the world a better place. Thank you very much for attending tonight. God bless. Thank you, Chairman Favreau. It's now my privilege to introduce our honorary associate degree recipient. Michael H. Carpenter is the president of MHAP and president and CEO of the Northeast Group, a 40-year-old family, business, community of caretakers, pathfinders, and change makers who foster hope and open doors for those in recovery. And in addition to helping those in recovery from substance use disorders, this vital organization called MHAP. And a reminder that they bought our residence halls just a few years ago in 2018, which has made a difference to this college. And for more than 30 years, Michael Carpenter knew he had a responsibility to help others. When the opportunity came to build a life skills campus across this county, he was inspired by his own life experience to create MHAP. Under the able leadership of Michael Carpenter, MHAB assists those in recovery with the transition from treatment or halfway house back to normal life. Michael has created something that will live forever. And last night, he became our first education champion. We named a scholarship with an endowed scholarship in his name. And tonight, we give him the honor of being the fourth recipient of an honorary degree from Clinton Community College. Dr. John Coel, please announce the candidate for the awarding of the Honorary Associate of Science degree in Business Administration. Mr. President, I am pleased to present to you 
Mr. Michael H. Carpenter. The honorary degree honoris causa recipient who has met the requirements for receipt of this honor and so recommended by the college faculty and approved by the Board of Trustees. Thank you, Vice President Quo. Michael, please stand. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the trustees of the State University of New York and the trustees of Clinton Community College, and upon their recommendation, I hereby confer upon you Michael H. Carpenter, the Associate of Science degree in Business Administration, and grant you all the rights and responsibilities pertaining thereunto. Michael, congratulations. You now are an honorary degree recipient of Clinton Community College. said I could have three words that will be tough I'm already beyond that um, wow I, I didn't know that I would be sitting up here terrified and nervous I I came to this college in 1983 and, and took a college entry program to be able to get a high school diploma and uh, I never thought I'd be receiving anything like a college degree honorary as it may be this is just amazing and you know, Ray asked me to say a few words about what this means to me, and, and I'm not sure that I can put it in words or, or describe it. I, I've worked in my life. I never was a good student. I wasn't traditionally enamored with college or school, and to be recognized in this category with people that really, really, really work to get this. I think about the graduates that are sitting out in the parking lot who are gonna get their degrees in a little while, and what they've gone through in the last year year and a half to be able to achieve this is absolutely amazing and and to just be included in that is really phenomenal and you know the cute funny story is I guess I get an honorary degree of 2020 and 2021 and my, my high school degree is actually 81, 82, and 83 so it fits in, fits in line with my non-traditional stance and, and if I could just tell you a couple of things you know I, I try to live my life differently today than I did many years ago and I, I think of three things and Ray brought up three things and if I could tell everybody who graduates or is here today three things I try to live my life with honesty humility and gratitude and when I can do those three things every day I really do have an incredibly blessed and charmed life and I never realized that I could affect any kind of positive change in anybody's life or do anything that was really good and I've learned over the years that I can and I say to everybody who's going to drive up here and, and get a degree that your, your life and your career is just beginning and you in and of yourself have the ability to affect change in this world and, and when we all live by that and do a little bit of that, this is a much better place for all to live. So uh, I can just say thank you, I'm so honored to be here and I'm absolutely humbled by this. So thank you, enjoy graduation. Official degree reads, upon recommendation of the trustees and faculty of Clinton Community College, Michael H. Carpenter, the degree of Associate of Science and Business Administration, and on behalf of the Board of Trustees and the entire community college here at Clinton, Michael, we award you this wonderful Associate Degree in Business Administration. Congratulations from all of us. <laughs> Wow, Michael, congratulations. Last night, Michael had two speakers whose lives he changed. And, and when we had commencement in uh, obviously our, our gymnasium over in the Florence building, came out one night and there was Michael standing on one of those big rocks. And I said, what are you doing, Mike? 
And he said, I'm looking for the graduates that I helped get through this college. Michael has supported people from his business, paid for their education to come to college, and continues to change people's lives through the efforts of MHAB and his business. Tonight, Michael, we hope that we've changed your life a little bit. We hope that this moment does take your breath away. And we hope that this has helped you achieve your dream too. Congratulations, Michael. Graduates, we're getting close. I know you're out there. <laughs> Congratulations to all of you. In just a few more minutes, we'll be ready. I now ask Board Chair David Favreau to join me to present the 2021 and the 2020 Chancellor's Award for Excellence winners. The, the honor provides system-wide recognition <clears throat> for consistently superior professional achievement it encourages the ongoing pursuit of excellence through these awards. SUNY publicly proclaims its pride in the accomplishment and personal dedication of its instructional faculty, librarians, and staff across its 64 campuses in system administration. Before I do that, I'd like all of our Chancellor Award winners who are sitting in front of me to please stand for a round of applause and congratulations to each of you. Thank you. Tonight, five of your colleagues will join you. Chair Favreau, will you please join me at the podium? Our first recipient this evening, Assistant Professor Joanna Jackson, Award for Excellence in Faculty Service for 2021. Professor Denise Coughlin Award for Excellence in Teaching for 2021. Please join us. Associate Director of Institutional Advancement, Megan Morrissey Kelly, for the Award for Excellence in Professional Service for 2021. Megan? <laughs> Professor Maggie Corson, Award for Excellence in Faculty Service for 2020. <laughs> Our STEM Success and Retention Coordinator, Kelly Meisner, please join us. Award for Excellence in Professional Service for 2020. And there's an extra deep for Kelly. Congratulations. Please stand, all of you, for a great round of applause. We want to let you know that our college relations staff will be taking photos tonight so that you'll have a lasting memory of this evening's event. We have them located at two strategic places to get the best pictures of our students while allowing everyone to have an unobstructed view for the most part. The pictures are then posted online and they're free to download. We have included the instruction on how to access those pictures in your commencement program. Students, as you do come across stage, remember to smile 
as you walk across the stage and as you exit. This evening you will also receive a 50 year pin and these wonderful little masks with the Cougar logo on them for Clinton Community College. And thank you to Wendy Baker, Vice President for Institutional Advancement for the foundation supporting those this evening. Wendy, please stand for a round of applause. And this evening we want all of you to remember. So graduates, are you ready? I don't hear any horns. Graduates, are you ready? <laughs> Mr. Favreau, Chairperson of the Board of Trustees, and I will present the degrees. Dr. John Coel, please announce the candidates for the awarding of certificates and degrees. for graduation and are so recommended by the college faculty and approved by the Board of Trustees. Thank you, Dr. Coel. Would all of our candidates for degrees and certificates, usually I say, please rise. This evening I say, please prepare to come out of your cars <laughs> and join us on the stage. Please listen carefully, all of our graduates. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the trustees of the State University of New York and the trustees of Clinton Community College and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I hereby confer upon you the associate's degrees and certificates and grant you all the rights and responsibilities pertaining thereunto. Graduates from our two classes of 1920-21, congratulations and let those horns blow. <laughs> Dr. Coe will be reading our students' names. Our diploma cases will be passed out by student trustee. And David Favreau is chair and myself will take pictures with our individual students as they come across <laughs> stage. Let's begin congratulating our graduates. Robert Conway Jr., Spring of 21, Associate of Applied Science and Human Services. Goodfellow, Fall of 2020, Associate of Science, Liberal Arts, Math and Science, Magna Cum Laude, PTK, Outstanding Achievement in Physical Science. <laughs> Caitlin E. Williams, Spring of 21, Associate of Science in Applied Psychology. A. Savage, Spring of 2020, Associate of Arts, Liberal Arts, Humanities, and Social Science. Carol <laughs> Judith Barber, Spring of 21, Associate of Applied Science and Nursing, PTK. Brittany Bart Bartim Bartimus, Spring of 21, Associate of Applied Science and Nursing. <laughs> Michael Emanuel, Spring of 21, Associate of Applied Science and Business Administration.
Leia Shea, Spring of 21, Associate of Arts, Liberal Arts, Humanities, and Social Science. Megan T. Burel, Spring of 21, Associate of Arts, Liberal Arts, Humanities, and Social Science. and Business Administration. <laughs> Kaylee Ann Stradley, Spring of 2020, Associate of Arts, Liberal Arts, Humanities, and Social Science. Abigail Elizabeth Ann Sears, Spring of 2020, Associate of Arts, Liberal Arts, Humanities, and Social Science. <laughs> Alexis Cadillac, Spring of 21, Associate of Applied Science, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Cassius J. Stiles, Spring of 21, Associate of Applied Science, Mechanical Technology. <laughs> Nicole O'Brien, Fall of 2020, Associate of Applied Science, Business Administration, Cum Laude. Brittany Brousseau, Spring of 21, Associate of Arts, Liberal Arts, Humanities, and Social Science. Right, Summer Ray Gillespie, Woo! Spring of 21, Associate of Applied Science, Nursing, PTK member. PTK stands for Phi Theta Kappa. Tiffany Turnbull, Spring of 21, Associate of Applied Science, Individual Studies, Cum Laude.
Dylan C. Gallagher, Spring of 21 Associate of Arts, Liberal Arts, Humanities, Social Science. <laughs> Chloe E. Smith, Spring of 21 Associate of Science, Applied Psychology. Magna Cum Laude, Honors Scholar, Outstanding Performance in Psychology, Outstanding Performance in Humanities. Patricia L. Howerton, Spring of 21 Associate of Arts, Liberal Arts, Human, Humanities and Social Sciences. Magna Cum Laude, PTK, Honors Scholar with Merit, Outstanding Performance in History, Academic Excellence, Alumni Association, Scholarship Recipient, Ex Academic Excellence Foundation Scholarship Award Recipient. Kristen Strack, Spring of 21, Associate of Applied Science, Individual Studies. <laughs> Natalie Mary Bullerys, Spring of 21, Associate of Applied Science, Nursing. Dakota L. Cornish, Fall of 19, Associate Applied Science, Computer Information Systems, Cum Laude. Natalie! Michelle Armani, Fall of 20, Alcohol Substance Abuse Counseling Certificate, Summa Cum Laude. Spring of 21 Associate of Arts, Liberal Arts, Humanities, and Social Science. <laughs> Daniel Stone, Spring of 21 Associate of Applied Science, Computer Information Systems, magna cum laude. Alyssa Owens Johnson, Spring of 21, Associate of Applied Science Nursing, Magna Cum Laude, Honor Scholar with Merit, Chancellor's Award for Student Excellence, Recipient Academic Excellence Foundation Scholarship Award. Erin Dutton, Erin Elizabeth Dutton, sorry, Spring of 2020, Associate of Applied Science, Human Services and Alcohol and Substance Abuse Counseling Certificate. Kara H. Powell, Spring of 20, Associate of Applied Science, Nursing. Elijah J. Bushy, Spring of 2020, Associate of Science, Applied Psychology. June Van Alphen, Spring of 21, Associate of Arts, Liberal Arts, Humanities and Social Science.
Monica Lynn A. Charlin, Spring of 21, Associate of Applied Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Jamal J. Luke, Spring of 21, Associate of Applied Science, Computer and Electronics Technology, Magna Cum Laude, right. Honors Scholar, Outstanding Achievement in Computer Electronics Technology, and Academic Excellence Foundation Scholarship Award. Caleb J. Labarge, Spring of 21, Associate of Applied Science, Individual Studies, AAS, Magna Cum Laude, Outstanding Achievement in Industrial Commercial Electrician. Braden James Lavalley, Spring of 21, Associate of Arts in Criminal Justice, Summa Cum Laude, Honor Scholar, Mildred P. Kelly Criminal Justice Memorial Award. Jillian Kizar, Spring of 21, Valedictorian, right. Associate of Applied Science Computer Information Systems, Summa Cum Laude, PTK, Honors Scholar with Distinction. <laughs> Jennifer Teresa Brown, Spring of 20, Associate of Applied Science, Nursing, Cum Laude. <laughs> Malcolm R. Hyde, Spring of 21, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Information Systems, Magna Cum Laude. Olivia Storms, Spring of 21, Associate of Arts, Individual Studies. <laughs> Heidi M. Dean, Spring of 21, Alcohol Substance Abuse Counseling Certificate, Summa Cum Laude, PTK member, Academic Excellence Alumni Association Scholarship Award recipient. Nathan Glennon, Spring of 21, Associate of Applied Science, Mechanical Technology, Cum Laude. My grandfather is in the car who graduated in 1971, the first class.
Heather Ann Keen, Spring of 21, Associate of Arts, Liberal Arts, Humanities, and Social Science. Jack T. Penniston, Spring of 20, Associate of Science, Environmental Science. <laughs> Shay H. Maynard. Spring of 21, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Information Systems, summa cum laude. <laughs> Anya Christine Carter, Spring of 21, Associate of Applied Science, Nursing. Kelsey Leah Barnard, Spring of 21, Associate of Applied Science, Nursing. Anna M. Lashway, Spring of 21, Associate of Applied Science, Nursing. Laura Elizabeth Wells, Spring of 21, Associate of Applied Science Nursing, Magna Cum Laude. Nicholas Cabrera, Spring of 20, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Information Systems, Cum Laude. James Elvidge, Fall of 2020, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Information Systems, Summa Cum Laude, PTK member. Colleen Marie Manning, Spring of 21, Associate of Applied Science, Human Services. Nathan Billups, Spring of 21, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Information Systems. Outstanding Achievement in Computer Information Systems, Outstanding Performance in Political Science recipient.
Jacqueline L. Barkham, Spring of 20, Associate of Applied Science Nursing. Alexis N. Dominey, Summer 2020 Associate of Applied Science Human Services and Student Senate President 2020. Sierra Rose Lucas, Spring of 21, Associate of Applied Science, Human Services. Liam Pickren, Fall of 20, Associate of Applied Science, Renewable Energy Technologies. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the last graduate this evening, right, the, right. the class of 2021-1920 in the 50th graduating class at Clinton Community College. Congratulations to all. complete we're gonna have a manufacturer's choice award <laughs> you know it came out okay didn't it <laughs> John Barner, Chair of the Committee, Tammy, Barb, and I have to name everybody, but to all of the committee that did this, thank you for the Great tremendous job. hard work that you did. Great job. When you think about it, what these students went through, the faculty and staff, and here we are celebrating 50 years of students walking across our stages. Pretty remarkable what this college has done to change the lives of so many. So this evening as we celebrate with all of each other and we celebrate this evening, it's important to remember this community college has changed people's lives for more than 50 years. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Thank you for your support. Graduates, you may now switch your tassels. <laughs> and thank you to each and every one of you, our platform party, our marshal, our faculty representatives, and each and every one of you for joining us here for this special ceremony. I don't think there will ever be another time. No one can predict what's going to happen next year, but when you think about this, there may never be another graduation like this one. 
and, and let all of us hold this in our, and, and David said, let's hope not. <laughs> and we don't, but on behalf of everyone, think about it, this is a special memory. 50 years, our buildings coming back to being restored, and you think about our graduates have made it across. The county support, the mayor, all the wonderful things that have happened. So on behalf of all of us here at Clinton Community College, thank you for celebrating our students, their success. Have a wonderful summer. Faculty and staff, thank you for getting these students across the states this evening. Congratulations to all. I now ask Marshall, Gina Lindsay to lead the platform party off the stage. Thank you all and congratulations. Yeah.